Um, I love DC. Hey, so today we're going to take a look at uh, my entire collection of McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Uh, she saw the intro plus the stack of collectible trading cards. I don't know why you're trading these, but anyway. Um, I have a lot of these figures. And so about these cards and box art and stuff, uh, there's no consistency with any of these. Some are digital renders, some are photos of actors, some are comic book drawings. Uh, some are new drawn art, some are figures, pose. Uh, hey, kind of funny, this Batman here that's in front of the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong. So, I mean, yeah, Hong Kong is used a lot for um, futuristic backgrounds. And some double pack figures have this tin foil look to their collectible cards of uh, comic book covers. I am um, probably going to chuck all these cards away. Do people actually like these? Oh, and then the uh, page punches ones have another type of card I gave the comic book away to a friend who really likes collecting like comic books and stuff so I gave that to him but yes I have a lot of DC multiverse figures and today is not a review I'm just going to go for each and one of them give my basic reason as to why I picked this one up and not the other or why I didn't pick up certain figures and just kind of have a little go through because why not I've never reviewed any one of these figures I don't think I have um, I've done some of the Batman Beyond stuff, but uh, for the most part, I've just been buying them, picking them up, and I decided why not do a video with all of them. Um, where to start? Let's start with the movie figures, and I have a dark side with his bent little stab thing. I'm just going to put that in hot water and uh, fix that. So, yeah, um, I like dark side as a character. I like him more than Thanos. He's definitely more interesting with his eye beams and the anti-life equation and all that stuff so i like him a lot more plus he's definitely tougher and more like stronger than thanos at least in the movies um well you don't really see him in the movies but uh, from what i know anyway so yeah i like this uh, i do have the storm collectibles dark side that's more akin to the injustice version and comic book version but uh, i just thought it was pretty cheap. It looked really good for what it is, and I decided to pick him up. Um, since he's a big guy, I'm gonna stand him in the back somewhere. So, other movie characters. Um, this one's been done quite well. The, uh, the way it looks like the rock. I do have a Shazam figure. I have no intentions of picking up the new We found a Shazam figure because I have the one from FX, and that's really, really good. Yeah, yeah, the whole dirt and the cape thing. I do wish these had like fabric capes and stuff. Um, I had to replace the joint for mine because it was like, I think glue went in there or something. I tried to like move it, broke it, decided to, you know, I'm just going to drill a hole through it and replace the joint with something more articulated. So I originally picked up that version of Black Adam and I was like, well, this isn't quite working. I'm just going to get the other one uh, with the forehead and stuff and pick up another cape for him. So there are a lot of uh, quick and easy ways to get uh, custom capes out there. They're not too expensive. So I'm just going to do that for him, get him a rope and stuff. And yeah, let's approach the same figure just without the rope and extra, extra electricity bits. I do wish McFarlane would stop doing releases like that. Just release one figure, give us alternative parts. I'd happily pay more per figure for that. Another one for the figure is Hawkman. I decided to pick him up because, you know, he suits quite well outside of the movie. But once again, just like the cape problem and the uh, wings, I'm really not happy that that's the only way we're going to get his wings. Like, I'm never going to get him in a flying pose unless someone makes custom wings for him. And he also looks, like, really good and much like in the movie. I might start using some of the stands for these guys so that they don't fall over and stuff. Another movie figure I decided to get was Cyborg because, well, the face actually kind of looks like him. I don't have Cyborg figure already. Uh, some of the other movies, the DCEU figures I have are from Mafex and Figout, so I'm quite happy with those. But for him, yeah, uh, I mean, he was also on a highly discounted price. He's got this little rocket arm thingy. So this is a pretty good figure to have as well. And that Hawkman there, even with the bloody stand, he's not standing right. It's actually getting a bit annoying. 
Moving on with other movie figures, I picked up the Batman Batman. Um, I really like this movie. I have ordered the Mavix version. I almost got the figure out, but then it looked really bad. So, and plus a lot of my DC figures starting to be on the McFarlane size sort of scale. So I was like, mm, no, I'm going to see if other company will make it. Mezco announced theirs, but then I'm like, I still don't have my 89 Batman. What's going on with that? And then Mavix announced theirs. I was like, oh, thank God, I can just order it from Mavix. So this is still a really good bat suit and a really good rendition of said bat suit. So I'm quite happy with that. He also comes with an extra hand with his version of the uh, bat grapple. I really like the new Catwoman. Sorry, craft is really hard, so I picked up this figure as well. Yes, there's an unmasked version, but I'm like, and eh, that one doesn't look really that much like her, and I don't need two figures. So she comes with a whip. And we got uh, the Riddler from this movie, who also, it's really creepy, and I really like this rendition of him. It's uh, really cool. Not sure about these uh, transparent strap things, but um, yeah, pretty cool figure. I'm just gonna like keep recording and then post them and stand them a bit later so they can pile up and stack in that corner there. And from this uh, line, I also picked up the Bat Motorcycle because why not? It's a bike for a relatively cheap price. It's a pretty bulky thing. It looks pretty good. You can probably see two people there. Like Catwoman would probably sit behind Batman. And yeah, I quite like having some Bat vehicles sometimes. You go with Dead's design. Moving over from movie to TV series, this is the uh, TV CW Flash. I did not pick up the uh, Green Owl one because I was in the first wave of the McFarlane stuff and honestly it wasn't, didn't look that good and looked very stiff. And I have some of the DC Collectibles ones. I also have DC Collectibles Flash figures there, which I actually think is decent. Uh, but this one is okay. <laughs> and uh, speaking of Flash, I have a, all these flashes come with a lot of lightning stuff. So uh, he comes with this one, and I think Godspeed comes with this one, and then you got the uh, video game Injustice Flash coming with these soft lightning bits. I guess this one's for his hand, like going through, and then all the regular comic book flashes come with. Uh, you got um, different colors of back pieces, plugs in the back. You got different colored versions of running start. Uh, we got these long pieces there for the legs and the shorter pieces for the arm. So a lot, a lot of lightning bits for all the different flashes. Speaking of video games, let's move on to video game figures. And here is the Arkham Killer Croc. I decided to pick them someone up because pretty much all the designs from the video game is like... Pretty much all the designs from the video game can go for comic book counterparts, and this is one of the Kid of Crocs designs I really, really like. I almost also picked up Man Bat, but with the wing issues and just like, eh, I don't know, maybe yes, no, pick it up, no. Uh, I just kind of skipped on that. Um, I do intend on picking up their pack with Solomon Grundy, a builder figure, with all of those figures. I'm just getting around to order it, ordering it, but eventually I'll pick that up. For more Arkham goodness, I picked up this this Deathstroke because it's just nice to have a good Deathstroke figure. I am slightly interested in picking up the new one that they just released that's more comic booky, but I don't know. Um, I'm, if I just have one Deathstroke, I'm quite happy with this one. Not a fan of how they do these uh, sword packs where they only do mold one side of it or something. I don't know why they do that. They've done that with the Court of Owls figure as well, where it's not quite closed up, but a bit better than this. Aside from that, this is a pretty decent looking um, pretty decent looking Deathstroke. Uh, it's got some molded guns and stuff that you can't pull out and grenade, but that's annoying. I did pick up the McFarlane weapons accessory pack one, so there's that that I can use with this. And yeah, I have the Arkham, one of the uh, first released Arkham Batman. This armor is also really, really cool. He comes with his giant uh, grapple gun slash attachment thing that all comes together. Um, he's got a Batarang that does have the Bat logo printed on it. That's kind of cool. I also really like this Batarang. I do have the PlayStation 3 Collector's Edition with set Batarang for display. And he has this little ice gun thingy. That, you know, or explosive gel gun. So he can explode the uh, walls and stuff. Yeah, a lot of these Batman have this ear issue because I stick them all in a giant box because I'm running out of storage space. And I don't care for the packaging for these figures, unlike Japanese figures. Video game Injustice Flash. Um, yeah, I might get rid of this. Looking at it now, I'm like, ah, I got it when I was 
I just thought it was like cheap and like, oh, it's the Flash, I'm gonna get him. But then looking at it now, I'm like, eh, not really a big fan of this design. So I still have it for now. But I do really like the uh, Injustice uh, Green Arrow. I'm not part of the one other one of the hats that they just reissued this figure. That's no. Uh, I do like there's a bunch of arrows in there, but there's no single arrow for him here. Even though this thing is quite flexible, it, it's okay. I mostly just like the design of the figure. Can we please have a Black Canary now, please? That would be really nice. Continuing with more large size figures, Swamp Thing right here. I really love the TV show. It really sucks that it got cancelled. He has an alternate hand, that's a little spike that he can, well, spike people with. He's probably the tallest one I have. He's even taller than the movie Dark Side. So it's pretty cool. The detailing and the washes on him is uh, really, really good. And I do like him a lot because uh, I also really like other characters from. Uh, the uh, Justice League Dark. So I have Dr. Fate here, and that's the reason I didn't pick up the movie version, because this one just looks nicer than the movie version, I think. Much more. Um, again, it's like video game version, I think, but um, just really good design. I like this a lot. I do not need to take the helmet off him, because who knows which user is using this Fate helmet at this point. And of course, um, I was so excited to finally be able to get my hands on a Constantine figure. I really like Constantine, like the original movie, I like him in the books, I like him in the cartoons, and I really like him in the TV series. Until they kind of made him a bit weird in Legends of Tomorrow, but then he was okay again. So, but yeah, he's really, really cool. Um, missing that magic spell piece effect that he also comes with. It's probably, my cat probably knocked it under the shelf or something, so I'm gonna have to go and find that. Continue with large figures. I really like the whole lantern core concept in all the different colors. I hope we get more colors of green lanterns, blue lanterns, and pinks and stuff. But having a trust here is pretty nice, although I'm really sad we didn't get um, Dexter to go with him. Um, I'm actually contemplating on buying some like little gacha cat figures and repainting them into little Dexters in different poses so I can pose them with this atrocities. And that's really cool. He's such a big and scary dude, and yet he has a Kitty, kitty cat, uh, really cool, and he's he's got a uh, actual lantern to go with him. So large size figure, really awesome. I really like the whole like list of like lanterns and stuff. And uh, yeah, speaking of lanterns, I got a few of them. Got the uh, the first release of Hell Jordan. This was in the double pack with the uh, the evil um, Batman Green Lantern. He's got a rocket backpack thingy as well as a giant punchy thing. So you're supposed to take his hand out, but um, I'm just not going to bother. I'm just going to put it like that. <laughs> that would do. And pretty much the exact same mold. We have a John Stewart, and it's really cool because I grew up with the uh, you know Bruce Timber first. So it was really nice to finally also get a really good and detailed John Stewart. I do have the DC Collectibles version of him. So he also has a backpack, but he comes with a giant machine gun. So that's pretty cool. I have the Kyle Rayner Green Lantern. Um, I intend to pick up the other look of him, the more classic Kyle Rayner Green Lantern with the uh, black suit and the stripe. That'd be much cooler. Got the actual Green Lantern there. That's really neat as well. So yeah, I hope they also release... Um, uh, what's her name? The uh, girl Green Lantern. That would be nice too. Just four variations. I'm not too bothered about Kai Kana, but I would pick him up if they do release him, just because it's kind of funny. And yeah, I got that pack because I got a trust for Atrocitus. I picked up the whole set of um, the uh, Blackest Night figures. So you got Undead Superman and the uh, Black Lantern Batman. Batman does have the uh, ring painted uh, on, bolted on him, but it's not painted. Um, I'm probably gonna sell these. I don't really care for these too much, but having the uh, Death Fire, whatever his name is, this is a pretty cool figure. But these two, I don't know. I'm not gonna really keep. Not really interested in keeping them. Maybe I'll sell them off cheap or something. I mostly just wanted to get Atrocitus. So a lot of lanterns, a lot of, a lot of flash figures. Um, I got two of the regular flash figures. They just have a, a different head expression and a different uh, hands. So yeah, um, I'm thinking of getting rid of one of these. And I do have two flashes because I also got the double pack with the uh, Red Storm, Death Storm, whatever, the evil Batman Who Laughs flash character. 
Um, pretty much the exact same figure as the Reverse Flash. Of course, I had to get him because he's the Reverse Flash, one of the most iconic comic villains there. Speaking of villains, I also got Godspeed just because I thought the suit's pretty cool. They don't say it's the TV version, but it might as well be. Like, it's just very similar to the TV version. And, uh, but uh, supposedly he also fits in the comic book and whatever. And they did show off, much like the TV uh, Flash over there, the CG render of this has a better cutting on the suit. Mm, but this one's okay. I think the TV Flash one, the cutting is not that great, but this one eh, gets the job done. I also have Kid Flash. Um, this one is way better than the Mattel one that I previously purchased just to get some like Teen Titan figures that were also heavily discounted. That's the set that also comes with Beast Boy, Starfire in cartoon form as well as the CW Black Lightning. So yeah, but this one is way better compared to that. Even though it does reuse a lot of parts, it just looks so much nicer. And of course I decided to pick up Gorilla Grodd, one of the first um, villain characters outside of Batman characters that they decided to release. Not happy with the open mouth. Uh, I wish it was just a closed mouth figure. If uh, always, as always, with all figures, if there's only just one head, one expression, I want it neutral. Any other expression should come as a bonus. I can just alter and do it myself. But otherwise, this is a very good Gorilla Grodd figure. I think this is in just this one as well, but just it just fits in any regular comic book design. We over to other the villains. We have a bunch of Superman figures here. Lobo. Very classic DC must-have for me, I think. And he just looks really good. And this chain is a very soft plastic material. Would have been nice if it was just an actual piece of metal chain. But what we have here is pretty good. And it's also not heavy, so easy for the character or the figure to carry. Have a Bizarro here. He also comes with two extra, like, um, grippy zombie-like hands. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> again, this one is just kind of a must-have to pick up. A lot of people actually prefer this bizarre body over the regular Superman releases and have done like head swaps and color swaps and stuff. This is a decent figure and mm, red sun Superman. I think these hands are for him. The fists and a item holding hand. Even though he got no weapons because or items because well he's Superman. And they've reused a lot of modes of different Supermans over the time because you can still see boots mode there but otherwise it's a pretty decent looking Superman. I'm not interested in picking up, I don't know, like uh, Red Sun, Batman or whatever. And finally with Superman figures, uh, of course had to pick up a Lex. I am thinking about uh, using a black wash to go over this so all the linings and stuff show up with more detail. Yeah, he comes with um, extra grippy and fist hands. This is a really good figure actually, it looks so good. I do have like another like DC collectibles Lex Luthor, but this one is just really nice and cost fits in with the scale I have. Next up moving over to more Justice Leaguers classic Aquaman with a more like newer head. Yes, they are releasing the short haired Aquaman in this kind of suit. I am not interested. This is really cool for me. Got the trident there. I really like this whole classic orange look. I do have the Mafex for the movie Aquaman in this orange suit. That's really cool. And I like this a lot. Again, this could do a little bit of a brown wash on the orange area to make those uh, scales really stand out. And of course, when I saw that they were releasing Ocean Master, I was like, yes, too. Um, I do have the Mafex of Black Manta, so I have no interest in picking, another, picking up another Black Manta because the movie version is very accurate to all the comic book incarnations. Um, this cape is so flat, I hate this. Uh, there is another Black uh, Ocean Master figure coming out, but I'm not too bothered because this one's already really good. A lot of it's just reuse of the Aquaman figure, but I like it. The colors are really nice, the head sculpt's really nice, it's cool. Other Justice League members is Martian Manhunter, one of my favorite characters of all time. I do really want to get my hands on the uh, CW TV Martian Manhunter because he's one of the best characters from the Supergirl TV show. And the, from what I can see, the DC collectible figures looks really good. And so this one came out first. And I was like, yeah, and sure, why not? It's not the most classic Manhunter or whatever, but I like Manhunter a lot. I'm going to pick him up, John Jones. And then they released the classic one. I was like, oh, they have the other one. I really want to pick that up. So, but yes, of course. I did, as you can see here. I much prefer the classic one a lot more, but this one's also really cool. I am considering selling off this one and just keeping the really classic one, but it does look really cool now that I have it, so I'm not sure. One of the things that McFarlane has finally started doing is definitely release a lot more 
uh, one off or random Justice League is on Kite Book, so it's really cool to have a Blue Beetle here. I do have the uh, Jaime Blue Beetle from DC Collectibles, and he's a kid, so he would fit in here as the shorter and newer, sort of younger Blue Beetle. So he's got a little gun there with a little scarab on the end, as well as this laser thing. So that's pretty cool. More well, Justice League is always fun because this came with a two pack with Booster Gold. Um, <laughs> just a pretty interesting character uh, to come from the future. It's, it's pretty nice to have some wacky characters like that. So uh, I'm so excited for like, you know, them announcing like someone like Dead Man, for example. That would be really cool to have too. And uh, yeah, Static Shock. At first I wasn't going to get him because I was more used to the animated version of Static Shock. But, uh, you know, think about it for a while. I was like, you know, he still looks pretty decent. And we're probably not going to get another Static Shock for ever so this comes with his little flying this as well as the regular stand and uh, speaking of stands um we have some of these figures already that already come with stands but anyway so two pack with booster gold and blue beetle comes with this like futuristic stand has a wash on it it looks really good these are actually really nice when you get the double packs they come with more accessories and stands actually look pretty good um for the price that you get for like where else are you gonna stand like this like this would fit in like an alien figure shelf or something. Other stands that are really cool are the, uh, this one is a Red Hood 2-pack and this just can go anywhere. It's just some dirt with a nice wash on it. Yeah, it's hollow and plastic and stuff, but again, where else are you going to get stands like that? It's really cool. The Green Lantern one is slightly less cool because it's all like magic-y and stuff. Actually a little bit uh, Lovecraftian on this side. So we have Green Lantern on one side, we have the uh, Batman who loves like Green Lantern on the other side. More on those later. Um, speaking of Green Lantern, I forgot I have this like green sword and actually speaking of Batman the last hours I have this puff Batmobile I'm glad they don't do these anymore um, I actually in general hate build a figure type releases because you're just forcing us to buy the whole set and if I don't like the whole set what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna have to find a cheap way to sell off the rest Speaking of which, here's the Batman Who Laughs, uh, one of the first ever releases from uh, McFarlane in the DC Multiverse line, and you can already tell there's quite a few differences between this and later figures. For example, uh, the cut here is very obvious, it's just a straight cut, and some new figures actually have the upper arm or shoulder muscle bits going over, so it looks less obvious. The hip leg joint there is way more like limited than some of the newer ones, even though they still use a similar joint there. They've definitely uh, done different moldings and stuff or use more rubbery underpants areas for extra articulation. But you know, he comes with his weapons, it's pretty good. There was a later release of him, I was like, I don't need a really big one. I mean, he's cool and all, but like, I'm not too bothered. I only picked up one of the rubbins. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool. They can like definitely do the crouch and walk and stuff. This was a slightly later release. So, and uh, I got the uh, Red Death, Speed Death, whatever Batman character. And he is like, slightly earlier release, but he's already improved a lot since the first wave. And then we got the uh, Green Lantern Batman. He comes with this pretty cool Lovecraftian bat dragon tentacle thing. So, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. And yeah, the coloring on this is pretty decent. Um, these two guys, I mean, red and green, I guess I'll keep them for now. I have no intention of collecting any of the other Batman Who Laughs Batman, but uh, the ones I have here now, they're, they're decent. And yes, very early on with the collection, uh, I picked up this uh, Flashpoint Batman. This one comes with two pistols that you can pull out. And because it was very early on in the days of collection, I was like, oh, I kind of like the one with the head as well. So I picked this up and he, he comes with a uh, sword. And I was like, okay, I'll pick that up, but now I'm like slightly regretting it. Do I really need this one? So I might like sell off the uh, unmasked version. But at the same time, it's like, but he always gonna mask himself and show him to like the other Batman and whatever. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I have a Damian Wayne here. He's got uh, these little ninja discs that come with him, as well as another sword that's like almost as big as him. So that's really cool. Well, I do intend to pick up, like I said, the uh, Arkham figures with Rachel Ghoul there. Or Raza or Ghoul, whatever, so that will go well with this Robin. Um, can we have a Talia, please? Now that we're going into uh, more side characters and Bat Family characters. Speaking of Bat Family, I was like, I saw this Red Hood, I was like, yes! I was just like looking at the uh, DC Collectibles one, I was like, do I, do I want to pick that? And then McFarlane's like, no, you don't, you want to get this newer one. I was like, oh, okay, um, cool. <laughs> this is nice, I like Red Hood. And the helmet is so shiny metallic, I love it. 
Um, I missed out on the first on the first uh, blue sort of uh, night wings. I picked this up, thinking like, yeah, you know, I'm going to paint them up eventually, and I still haven't done so. So um, yeah, this is the same model as the first ever line wave of releases. So he is a little bit more limiting, but um, he looks the part. And then one more bat related character here is the Court of Owl, Owl guy. At first I was like, I'm not going to really pick him up because I don't really care about the Court of Owls too much, but yeah, he's a cool looking suit and villain. I'm probably just going to glue this thing in because this, this keeps falling out and it's very annoying actually. Otherwise, uh, he looks pretty good. He's got a lot of weapons to go with him. Pretty cool. We are near the end game. Moving on to Batman Beyond. I'm so happy to pick this figure up. All the Batman Beyond figures previously, the prices were so high and scalped so much. I was just like, hey, but I really want a Batman Beyond figure. I don't care if it's the animated version or comic book version. And McFarlane's like, here, have one. I was like, oh, yeah, thank God. Normal price Batman Beyond. And I picked up two of him. Um, I just detached the wings from this one just so I can have a slightly different look because I have two of him. Uh, I have two of him because both Batman Beyonds came with like different accessories and stuff. So that's a little bit annoying. So for the Batman Beyond, we got these little flame bits for the legs for when he's flying. Um, you got this Batman, which I really like, just like in the cartoon animated series. But we also have this really cool sort of static logo Batman Beyond Batarang thing. So that's really nice too. And then we just got, uh, for once, one of these figures. We also have a lot of different hand accessories, gripping hands, item holding hands, etc. So that's really neat too. And while I'm not too familiar with her, we do have a bat woman or bat girl beyond just a really cool suit there's an unmasked version of her i'm like yeah i'm not picking up second figures anymore just to get an alternative head I'm, I'm too deep into the amount of figures i already have i don't want to get just second figures of the same character another important one blight uh, i would have preferred it was just like a skull head but this is still really really awesome and i was thinking like when are they gonna recolor this and get a mr freeze although they are I think the, yeah they've announced that they're releasing Mr. Freeze, so that's pretty nice. And you just remove that. It's you've got the skeleton inside there, which is they molded in, and this whole skull head thing is pretty awesome. He has a regular hand for his left hand, but um, yeah, I'm keeping this glowy one on there because it's just really neat. We have Shriek, a uh, classic villain in the uh, cartoons. It's pretty awesome to have. Once again, he has alternative figure with the mask off. I'm like, yeah, I'm not too bothered. And I was going to this effect piece with the sound waves going for you. And all these come together to combine a uh, World's End Batman figure. I guess that's Brother Eye on his chest. Cannon gun thing. Really not sure what this Robo Batman is with a stitched Joker head on the back. I have not read that comic. Yeah, but uh, at least he actually has articulated... Um, Wings a little bit stiff, but it's articulated. I can actually have his wings moving, so I don't know why other winged characters can't do that. So looking at this box here, I almost have 60 DC multiverse figures from McFarlane. And some of the obvious missing ones are like Superman, Batman. I've been collecting the Hush line from Mafex, and I'm quite happy with those versions. So I'm pretty cool with that. Uh, I'm looking forward to some of the other non uh, Batman characters that they're releasing, including like Injustice version Supergirl, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so despite what people are saying that he released lots of Batman and he does release a lot of Batman stuff or Batman side characters, looking at my collection here, look, it's so colorful. I've got lots of lanterns and flashes. I've got, you know, movie characters and really minor Justice Leakers. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we still don't have just a regular comic book Wonder Woman, so that's a little bit annoying, but one could argue that the uh, movie version is pretty accurate to that but I still would like just a comic book version I would like more Teen Titans I would like more Justice League Dark members and more of the Bat Family and uh, yeah um, if uh, you guys are interested looking at some of the other like just collection videos I have of different companies different makes I'd be more than happy to do that if there's enough views there um, I do have a Supergirl of DC Collectibles a new Blue Beetle another uh, Green Lantern there and yeah, basically, I'm just combining different 
lines and different figures together to get like a really nice selection of comic book stuff. All these figures I think are pretty decent. Some of the joints are a little bit on the stiff side, but I feel like I can easily replace those with a lot of little joint packs that Japanese companies sell. Um, some of them are indeed missing some paint details, but I can easily just touch those up with a bit of paint or Warhammer paint. That's the easiest, I think, for me. Uh, because all the molding details are there, there's not too many reuse. For people always <laughs> complain about these figures, they're cheap, they're, they look decent on the shelf. And as a DC fan, I am very happy. Compare this with Marvel Legends where it costs more, they keep using the same mold, paint quality is pretty crappy. Um, yeah, these are way better. I just, the only Marvel Legends I've ever picked up are some of the movie characters where they do look really good, such as the um, one of the Red Skull figures, Jonas Jameson from Comic Book, because I love that character and um, some of the uh, Fox movies, X-Men and uh, Wolverine and Mystique as well as even the Magneto one that he's way too buff but I picked it up because I really like Xavier so I picked up that double pack and it was heavily discounted otherwise I do not pick up Marvel Legends because I frankly think they're ugly. I hate the stomach joint with the N shape there. I know it gives more articulation but I really hate it. Like I really hate it. Um, and for people who say they keep releasing Batman figures, hey, uh, Marvel Legends keeps releasing Spider-Man figures and none of them look good. Uh, I have Mafex, I have Figuarts Spider-Man, I do not pick up a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Um, the only Spider-Man that looks decent from them are the Spider um, <laughs> Peter B. Parker as well as Miles Morales from the Spider-Verse movies, but just because they have to do new molds with them because their shapes and looks are just so unique. Otherwise, all of the Spider-Mans just look weird. They have big feet. They have weird shoulders to neck, and I just and they're painted poorly. Anywho, um, yeah, love these figures. Subscribe, just and go below. Guys, take care. Have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.